Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good to see a trio of guys, I guess, come back to the group at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they were excited to get out there. I can tell you that as much as uh, as much as we don't like having maybe that many guys in practice for different reasons, but they were excited. So it's good to see them back out there and. You know, it gets awfully boring when you're skating by yourself or with one or two other guys. So they were really, really excited. How do you balance giving those guys what they need versus making sure that the bigger group of people who are playing tomorrow gets what they need from practice as well? Yeah, we don't give them what they need. They, they get ex extra. So uh, especially when there's that many, they were not involved in all the drills. Um, it just has to go that way. And we have to get our team, the guys are going to be ready to play, ready to play. So those guys have to just get some extra on their own. Mm -hmm. like yeah, Louis. Louis uh, four to six weeks lower body. Uh, I'm stuck at nine ninety nine, but he'll he'll get it. He'll be back, but it's just going to take some time. Apologies uh, if this has been covered in the last week or so, but your team is top five goals against, middle of the pack goals for. Obviously, defense is a point of emphasis for the club. If they're at any point in the season as a player who's struggling offensively, but carrying the load defensively, doing everything he wants, will that buy him leeway on the offensive side of the game? Yeah, without a doubt. So I guess the, for me, the most important stat there is goal differential. So be great to be one of the top defensive teams and one of the top offensive teams. In, in the history of the game, there has been a few times that that's occurred. And those teams are way above everybody else. But in the end, your goal dif differential is what's going to define you as a team. So the fact that we're only middle of the pack offensively, we want to keep jacking that up and we want to keep where we're at here. But I would say there's nobody, for me, there's not one player that's under pressure to score goals or create offense. That's, that's not your job. Your job is to play good hockey. Some players have the ability to, to contribute more offensively, for sure. But because you're not scoring doesn't mean that you're not contributing to wins. And so I think sometimes if a player just judges himself on scoring or if we put that pressure on him, you end up doing him a disservice because there's, there's the whole part of the game that he can still contribute to and, and help us win. In the last couple of years, Dallas has been a little bit of a battle playing against. Uh, what is it that they do or what have you guys changed mm -hmm. in order to maybe to even that playing field? Well, they, they're a couple things. They break out really well. Uh, they forecheck really well. They're, they're very predictable. Uh, predictable in the sense that you know what they're doing. You plan for it. And sometimes their execution just breaks your plan down. And that's, that was what happened to us last year. Um, so a hard team to play, but um, you know, one of those teams, I think, not unlike Winnipeg, where you've got to show up. You have to be physical. They're big and strong. It really challenges your team. So. Let's make sure we're ready for the challenge. Do you have the sense that Darcy is close to being an option for yeah. you, whether it's tomorrow or Saturday? Yeah, he's out of the red. Uh, I haven't talked to him after, or Kinger after the practice, but he got him out of the red, and I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. He was there to the end. So, so yeah, I would say he's getting very close. You have a week with two games leading into, I think, the longest road trip of the year. Yeah. Does that change at all your approach to practices, length of practices, intensity? Well, they had uh, players had Sunday off, and then yesterday they had uh, the Kings Cares golf tournament. I believe it was Kings Cares, right? Uh, golf tournament. So they they had two days without uh, being on the ice for practice. So that probably comes at a good time. We had a busy schedule until then, so we feel really fresh. I think coming into today's practice, so a good practice today, as you mentioned, then a couple practice days before we head out play and then head out. So I think we're in really good shape as far as players being rested and energized. So um, we don't have to manage that too much. We can push them hard through practice right now. We heard uh, Mikey won the tournament, but he's been accused of cheating by two. Mm. I, I stay out of that. I got enough problems on my own getting into their golf games. No, no, like I said, I got enough. I get myself enough situations with those guys than, than having to get into that. I, I do know that, and I've heard through the grapevine, that Mikey is probably the best golfer on the team. So I don't know where, I don't know where it went from there, but I do know he's an excellent golfer. Jim, uh, just, uh, I know it's still a ways away still, but uh, just uh, any update or anything on, on Drew in terms of uh, how, just how he's progressing? 
I just followed him down the hallway here, and he was moving pretty good, and he feels great. I just asked him, just happened to see him two minutes ago, and he looked like he was walking normal, everything was good, and he said he feels great. So that's all, but we're not, uh, it's so far away yet, we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. But it's good to see him, you know, looking not, normal. Not some sort of plan no, 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 it'll be a long time before that happens, yep.